I feel like with my hair sound like not that bang gang. That bang gang. Not that bang gang. That bang gang. <laughs> you know what? Let's get ready for this video. <laughs> Cause it's giving not that bang gang. That bang gang. Not that bang. That that I play too much. But let's go, let's go, y'all. because honey I'm ready for the fall I'm ready for pumpkin spice I'm ready for the high boots the nice cute leather coats so like I said earlier the video is basically a try on haul from blazers I got from Amazon stay tuned because I will be back to do a video of how to style so just this video would just be showing you different blazers I saw at Amazon I was like hey I need this in my closet should I add this to my closet so with that being said I'm so excited I feel like I'm so excited I'm talking so fast let me slow it down yeah. I'm excited to be doing this haul with you guys and also I want you to um, check out my Amazon storefront I listed all the blazers that I have here in the video and last but not least sis if you new here I need you to subscribe to this video we are coming with the videos I'm being consistent go me go me hold on gotta check that bang it bang I'm being consistent, so I need you to subscribe to this channel. The goal before the summer over is to reach 500 subscribers. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to start trying on these blazers. So let's get it started. So before we put on the first blazer, this is the outfit of the day. This is what we're trying on all the blazers on. This is a crop black turtleneck, some light blue jeans, something simple. And we going to try on the blazers. I have nothing but full color blazers. The mustard yellow, the army green, the burgundy, the burnt orange. So like I said, I am ready for the full. Let's go pumpkin spice. Let's get it together. So let's get into this first blazer. So this is our first blazer. It's a mustard color, love the color. Now let me tell you about the, pro, the pros and cons. The pro is the color is everything, love the mustard color. The con is it feels a little, a little Hulk Hogan. I got it in a size 2X. I definitely should have sized up. I do like the fact that it has real pockets, but it is a little like snug. Cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. I usually don't close my blazers anyway. I usually leave them open. But I don't like the feeling in the arms. And maybe because the material, that material is in there, so it makes it a little more tighter. But definitely cute color. But definitely should have went up a size. So, you know, what y'all thinking? I'm a little mad now because this is cute. But, yeah, but yeah, I... I don't like that. Ugh, let me stop doing that for this rip. Let me stop doing it. <laughs> Trying to be funny and mess it all up. So this ain't going to work. But it's cute though. Let's go on to the next. Let's go on to the next. So I figured out the dilemma. <laughs> the dilemma is when I ordered these blazers from Amazon, they all were from the same company. And I got them all in the same size not realizing it was the same company so it's the same thing with this blazer cute brown blazer but it just feels a little too snug in the arm area so that's my bad <laughs> and i realized i got two more from the same company except for one so hopefully the last one does the trick 
but again this is definitely a cute fall color definitely a nice brown the pro about it is the color the real pockets the con is I would definitely have to go up a size. I would definitely have to go to a 3X. And also, these don't have buttons. It has the little, the little clip right here. Again, due to me being big chested, I'm really not the one to be buttoning my blazers. My blazers usually stay open like this. But I just realized that all of them are from the same company, just different colors except for one. So hopefully the last one is giving one these to get. So let me turn. too snug too snug so let's just get let's just go to the next one let's just go to the next one okay giving you now see let's get into the olive green i love olive green one of my favorite colors definitely for the fall but yes this is giving you peplum let me do a full turn now i like this it doesn't have that silk inside. I feel like it's a little more stretchier. So look, I'm able to button it. But you see why I don't do that? That, that, mm -mm. that ain't it. Now, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I need a better bra. Or I need to fix the straps. But I don't like that. But I would definitely wear this open. Now, I can say so far out of the last two, this has to be my favorite one. You know, it's giving better material scratchy and this is a 2x so i'm definitely like i knew i wasn't bugging when i ordered i just really think it's the lining inside of the blazer that's giving a no-no but I, with some green boots so uh i'm so ready for the fall there's no place like fall there's no place like fall <laughs> get me there now Yes, honey. Yes, I love this one. I love it. I don't know. I thought I was gonna keep one. I might be keeping two. Might. We gonna see. For me, I already don't like it. First off, when I took it out the packaging, you know the the it's very thin, cheap material, and this blazer was like twenty five dollars is no even though i complained about having the inside it's no lining inside very thin it's supposed to be quarter sleeve it's a rust orange but it's showing up on camera like red so i don't know why is that but let me do a full turn around yeah like I feel like for the price, this should have been $10. It felt like somebody just went to go get some material and just cut it out. Like, it's, it's, I mean, it, it's doing what it needs to do. But if you're looking for like quality, good blazers, then I wouldn't recommend this. Again, if you're okay with this look, then it's cute. It's not horrible, but I just feel like not for $25. This one I could have probably got from Rainbow. For $12.99. So yeah. This one's a no for me. Definitely like the burnt orange color. I'm here for like the scrunchy sleeve, the quarter sleeves. But um I I, I just feel like $25. This was overpriced. Mm -mm. So we gonna move to the last one, and hopefully this is my favorite one because honey, something about burgundy wine as we enter to the fall and winter is everything for me. Everything. So we gonna try on this last blazer, and we'll be back. And if you made it this far, you should you should you should subscribe by now. You got me stuttering because I'm so nervous. Subscribe to the Plus Size Mixing channel. What are you waiting for? You made it this far. We on the last piece. Let's go. So this ain't really come as I expected it. Like in the picture, I feel like it was giving. Now, don't get me wrong. It's cute. Let me do the full turnaround before I get my opinion. And as y'all can see, it's giving a cake look. 
Now in the picture, it looked like it was more quality. Like right now, it's looking more like, it's not looking as high fashion, high quality as it in the picture. It's very cute. I, I love the cape look. Now it's giving off red in the camera. In the picture, it was more like that deep wine burgundy. So that's the only thing I don't like. It's looking more red to me and I want burgundy, like, I want burgundy. But it's really cute. This is the one that I thought was gonna sell it for me. But I feel like out of all of them, Olive Green did it for me. I don't know if it was the peplum, cause I usually don't like peplum, especially around this area. Now in the back is cute, not in the front, no. But I might have to order this again in black instead. Cause the the, the burgundy isn't giving me what it's gonna give me. But what y'all think? I want y'all to comment below your favorite blazer out of all of them I tried on. I could say olive green was my first one. This would be my second one. The other two didn't really fit that well, but the colors was cute. So, um, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all favorite one is. Well, we have came to the end of this haul. I hope you stayed and enjoyed. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed to this channel by now, definitely start what you're doing. Subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know what I'm going to be posting. I do have a surprise coming up for y'all, but I don't want to spoil it yet. So we're going to wait on that. And last but not least, the next video will be shapewear. I'm waiting for my dress to come in the mail so I can give you that before and after. Let's see if Shape LLX is giving what they said they are giving. So I would like to thank y'all for watching this week's haul. And again, we having fun over here. So join the Vixen gang. Till next time. You guys will follow me here on my Instagram at plus size vixen underscore the influencer. Also, if you like the lip gloss that you see I have on, definitely check out my website. I am an entrepreneur and I have a website plus size vixen.com where you can get all your lipstick and lip gloss needs because honey, I got them for all colors, you know check it out and subscribe to the website so you know when sales and just new things are coming up like i said again thank you guys for watching it's truly appreciated tell a friend to tell a friend share this video do what you gotta do <laughs> just do what you gotta do to get this video out here because again i got some surprises coming up I'm so excited, and I would like to thank all 400 subscribers. We made it to 400, y'all. Yeah! 400 subscribers. I remember when I started this channel, and I probably had like 50, and we had 400. It took a couple of months now, and I'm going to make it. Look, I can't sound like most YouTubers, like, overnight, I went from 5 to 1,000. Nah, it took some months. It took some growing, but it also takes consistency. That's what I noticed this app was, consistency. So, I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying. But this, influ this influencer, micro-influencer life, whatever it is, plus-size influencer life ain't for the week. This ain't either. <laughs>